I, I came to turn the nav lights on, the position lights, the red one and the green one, didn't come on, which I thought was a bit odd. So I'm trying to trace the cabling through, um, and I've got to this position here. Now, this is the, that's the red one, that's the green one, and there's the two metal bits. And then this is the power cable that would normally sit in there and feed them the power. And there's no power getting to that. Um, is there a fuse gone? That would be the obvious. There's no fuses I can find. Um, and then I've tried to trace the other end of the problem. So this is the switch panel, and it's one, two, three, position compass light. That's the one. And you see there that the stern light is working, and but that one's not. If I then go round here, into this world, this red, that red cable there, that one, and all the other red cables associated with it, that's the power into the switchboard. So each one of the switches receives its power from that red cable. So one, two, three, this one here is the cable that should be getting power. Now, if I take it out of this terminal block, there is 12 volts or 13 point whatever it is on that. So that's good. But what does this circuit board do? And in the absence of any wiring diagram or labeling on the board or anywhere else for that matter, how do we trace these cables? That little there is my little tester. I leave that as a little test. And what that does is connect me into the negative bus bar. So that gives me a little a test reference. I can plug my meter onto there quickly. Always test the tester. So if I then take, so there's my, that's my negative line there. So if I just grab any one of those negative plugs and just stick it in and then see if we've got a thing. And look, we have, and then I take it off and she goes open. We've got continuity on the negative side from the negative to the negative all the way across. What do we know? We know that we've got power to the other side of the switch that feeds into the circuit board. We know we have no power to the position lights at the bow, but we do have power to the stern light. And we know we have continuity through the negative wires. So what I'm going to try um, is I'm going to turn the power off the entire boat so that the board's dead. Then I'm going to short circuit those two cables and then we can then poke around the board with the um, continuity tester and see when we get a circuit. That's the plan. So I need to crimp on a couple of male bullets on a short length of wire to act as my short circuit. So that one's into there and then that one's into there and that's my short circuit loop. So we've put the beeper on so that we can hear what we're doing. We'll just test the beeper. There we go. Right, now we're going to go in here and test until we find it. So, to recap, with the power completely off, if we short circuit the feed to the position lights and then connect our continuity meter to the negative, we can probe the different terminals until we get a beep. And that will mean we found the positive terminal of the position light circuit. Nothing there. Nothing there. Hey! Third one in is the thing. Now we've tested it, we'll take that short circuit cable out and we'll put the uh, uh, the, uh, the lights, the plug, the actual headlights back in again, the bulbs back in. So now if we, we know where that comes from and we know that that one's working. So now if I go into my third one, do I get any volts? And we're not getting any, so that's... So, so that black cable, green, is it green? That's green, that cable. That green cable isn't... Go oh, look, and there's the two green cables. Yay! So I'll bet you one of those bad boys is going to the stern light. So there's the stern light working. So given that the, the, the stern light and the, uh, and the position lights are both on the same switch, and that that one is definitely green, we can make the assumption that that green, one of these greens goes to the stern light and one of them goes to uh, the bow coloured lights. If we swap them over, then the stern light will stop working. Stern light will stop working. The bow lights might start. So okay, okay, that's not working now. But there, and there, we have position lights. So let's recap. The two green wires feed both the stern light and the position lights, and we can move the fault around. So we now know the circuit board is where the fault is. 
So we've moved the fault around. Um, we, we don't know why that green cable um, isn't getting power to it because that circuit board doesn't make any sense. Uh, there's no fuses on it, it's just a thing. But it clearly is something in there. We could potentially just jump her between those two and that will then put the stern light back on. So a little more digging and the circuit board really does just power the LEDs. Uh, there's no fuses on it, not quite sure um, why it's faulty. And we certainly can't fix it or get a replacement. So probably the best thing to do is to bypass it completely. And we we'll come out of the switch and go straight into the two green wires, which splits uh, to the stern light and to the position lights. And that's it. Uh, these LEDs won't come on anymore, but the <laughs> the nav lights will and that's the important bit. Let's remove that wire and that wire. So that's the, one of those is the stern light and one of those is the positioning lights. I think we'll use one of these, um, these heat shrink ones for this. One of those things where we twist that one together and then we're going to put, see if we can, yeah, put that in there, yep. Pretty good. And there it is, fixed. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.